An MBTA commuter ferry that ran aground in Boston Harbor is now back at the docks. Four passengers were hurt when that ferry crashed today. The T says the ferry was cut off by what it's describing as a sport fishing boat. Good afternoon. Thanks for joining us. I'm Chris McKinnon. And I'm Brianna Pitts in for Kate Merrill. According to the T, the ferry captain had to act quickly to avoid that boat, which was coming in from Hull when it ran aground near Long Island. WBZ's Beth Germano is live in Boston, where dozens of passengers were brought to shore, Beth. We're at Black Falcon Terminal, where many of those passengers were brought in with quite the story to tell. 84 people on board that ferry, and they usually take it to work every morning. But this morning, they say the fog was so thick they could barely see out the windows, and then came the jolt. They came to shore wearing life jackets, commuters who had a harrowing ride about 10 minutes into their 7.30 trip. And I heard a bunch of rocks grinding on the bottom of the boat, and I uh, braced myself. And then the boat came to a sudden stop when we hit a huge rock. Craig Snyder was one of the lucky ones, as other passengers were thrown on impact for injured. There's a few benches on the outside on the starboard and port sides of the boat. Those were where some of the bad injuries were because those people got thrown into the railings and also the, uh, there's the big HVAC units. I believe one lady got thrown in one of those big HVAC units and hit her head. The boat was in heavy fog and shallow water at low tide. The accident happening off Long Island. Still, some passengers were concerned what would happen next. All of us didn't know if we were like taking in water, um, but luckily we were only in like three feet of water, so even if we were, we would have been okay. Pictures show everyone immediately putting on life jackets, waiting for the Coast Guard and rescue boats to arrive. And for emergency crews, these kinds of rescues are challenging. It can be challenging. I mean, it's, it's obviously a much more dangerous situation when you're out on the water. It's been relatively calm today, um, but the fog was a big factor. Now, passengers say it looked like the injuries were mostly to the wrist, the shoulder, and the head. That ferry lightning is now at a maintenance dock where it is being inspected, and an investigation is underway to determine just how this happened. Reporting live from Black Falcon Terminal, I'm Beth Germano, WBZ News. And